Welcome back everyone. Um, time to do another malware test. So we'll be doing F-Secure going up against uh, MSISoft um, Anti-Malware Home Edition. So for F-Secure on the left, we'll just quickly look at the settings. Okay, so virus protection, um, everything is there. Not much that you actually can change or enable or increase or decrease protection. Um, you can just either switch it on or off, deep guard, um, ransomware protection um, under here. For um, excluded files, we excluded the um, website script and the malware um, script uh, to execute the malware. Uh, AMS integration, web traffic, um, tamper protection. Uh, these are just the scan settings. Secure browsing has been enabled. Uh, these are just updates, etc. Okay, so not not much to show. So for um, MSOSoft, okay. So behavior blocker is enabled. Um, auto resolve notification threats only file guard is on it's set to thorough um, quarantine with notification etc web protection um, block and notify block and notify um, that's web protection so quarantine these are just the logs uh, these are the settings so our exclusions are the scripts uh, for those who want to see the um, web interface, so this is how it looks. So this is our one machine, so it's part of our malware test uh, policy. Okay, so as you guys can see, auto resolve, there's the scan level is thorough again, so this is the same profile that is allocated to the machine okay so that's about it um, so it's just time quickly to disable the um, real-time shields just so that we can just um, quickly um, extract the malware and then we'll um, start with the test okay now that all malware has been extracted it's time to update the programs so we are just quickly checking for updates Okay, so uh, MSOSoft just took a uh, quite a while to um, check for updates. So we have uh, 1,801 samples for, for this test. And uh, let's do some high volume testing again. Um, I think it's time to enable the protection again. Cool. Seems like everything is enabled. Time for um, F-Secure. Okay, so now you guys can see everything is turned on again and for MSISoft, um, self-defense and all of that is also turned on. Okay, so everything here is enabled and if secure seems good and happy. Okay, so we are protected. Okay, so let's start with the um, website test first. Um, we are using Edge with smart screen uh, disabled with their extensions enabled.
and I know uh, the fender is still enabled. Okay, so it looks like F-Secure is doing its thing. Quite a lot of pages are being blocked. That's really good to see. This one is partial. Um, that one as well. So let's look at MSISoft. Okay, it's blocked and blocked. Broken, blocked. Let's say keep that file. Let's see what happens. Okay, so FCKS seems to be done. That's really good. And uh, let's get to the downloads. Let's see what happened. Okay, so that is an installer that I downloaded earlier today, so that's not part of the downloads. Okay, so nothing downloaded. I think that's great. I think it's a tie for them. Um, F-Secure just gave us a little bit more pages with their notification on it. But I think um, they both tied on this one. So now time for the malware execution. Okay, so F-Secure is giving us some pop-ups. Um, uh, MSISoft as well. I'm gonna wait for this to finish. Um, once it's done, we'll look at the results um, and then um, we will continue the test further. Okay, so the test is finally done. So let's see um, at the results. Okay, for um, F-Secure, seems like we have this one running. So let's quickly have a look here. Okay, so it seems like a couple of vendors are aware of this. Uh, obviously, F-Secure is not. Um, seems like uh, MSISoft is aware of it. Yes. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. Okay, startup items. We have one, two, three, four, five startup items, six, seven startup items, and command prompt as well. So that's eight startup items. Um, Okay, so Process Explorer is not opening. I think um, Microsoft might be killing it. Um, so let's look at Startup. Only one, two Startup items. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. Um, F-Secure gave me no pop-up to, re to reboot through the program. So we'll just do that normally. Um, but um, Microsoft wants to restart. So I'm going to restart it like this. Uh, once they're both up and running, I'll update them and start the full scans. Okay, so the results are in. Um, we'll just quickly need to restart these machines because um, they're both asking to restart by the program. So we'll do that now. Okay, guys, so let's quickly have a look at the final results um, for FSecure. Um, it seems like we only have two files. Um, at uh, local generic tools and under program data. So we have got two files there. Uh, for um, MSISoft, we only have one in local tent and then it's malware uh, on the desktop. And then we've got public libraries and that's about it. So also um, two files outside the normal locations. 
um, oh, sorry, one file out of normal locations for MSAS up and then one for temp. Um, let's look at Norton. So here we've got update the local generic tools. So that's this is the same malware we've seen in the two previous tests. And then we've got roaming, uh, program data, app data, app data, local temp, and roaming as well. For uh, MSIsoft, we only have one in program data. So that's a PowerShell script. Okay, so um, because we're testing uh, MSIsoft, I did not use the um, emergency kit because uh, you, you can't also um, run it, it, it complains about that um, so for a substitute we are using Komodo, I just did a smart scan, I did not do a full scan so under smart scan we obviously have generic tools, the same one detected by Norton and them uh, another registry key which is linked to generic tools, another um, EXE and is also linked to generic tools so we have those ones there as well um, we only have the remote manipulator, this one we've also seen before. Okay, so for Kaspersky, um, we have 142 detections, we've got 84 detections. So this one is obviously in memory. Uh, app data, also scheduled task, system 32. A uh, couple of stuff here also, um, app program data, app data. Uh, malware on the desktop obviously ok so a couple of detections there for MSIsoft um, there's the remote manipulator again um, this seems to be a rootkit directly onto the drive uh, remote manipulator again uh, update the local, local temp and then it's just malware on the desktop and then under Windows Installer, um, we've got this um, detection here and Windows Installer here as well. Okay, we're just going to move that out of the way. Um, we're going to only close it when you quarantine the messages. Now let's look at Malwarebytes. Okay, so for Malwarebytes we have uh, app data again, a couple of stuff here. Uh, under my user account app data ok so it's a lot of um, DLL files uh, app data again, text files, javascript and then a couple of uh, the malware on the desktop Okay, and then we've got one registry key which is the generic tools which was detected by the other vendors now for MSIsoft um, documents and settings library so we've got an ext there uh, program files that manipulate the remote manipulator host that's installed by the looks of it program data okay then now we're on the desktop Okay, and then we've got one registry key and then obviously the root kit for the master boot sector. So this is this normally tends to be uh, really serious. To get root kits off the machines are extremely difficult and they embed themselves extremely deep into the system. Okay, let's have a look see at our startup items. Um, okay, cool. So it seems like we still have one, two, three, four, five startup items, and then a couple of PowerShells as well. I did notice that PowerShell does randomly just come up onto the machine and and then um, disappears, and there's no notification from F-Secure. There's the generic tools that they've um, that the other vendors have complained about, but we can't get to the properties. Let's see if anything is running on the system. Okay, so let's look at F-Secure.
Okay, so the genetic tools one is still running. That was the one detected in memory, I think, by M. Kaspersky as well. While we wait for that, let's look at MSISoft. Uh, yes, we have this one and this one. Okay, let's quickly have a look, see what's happening. The detections are made by these vendors. Uh, Trojan. Okay, obviously, if secure, it's undetected. Okay, let's look on this side. Not a lot of vendors are aware about this one. So, Trojan, PUA remote so it is something to do with remote connection could be part of a rat um, let's look at this one this one is a bit more detected okay MSI soft not detected uh, MSI soft undetected so that matches So that's that name that matches in um, PE. Okay, so we'll just close that. So two active threads are still running on this machine and seems like only one for F-Secure. Now let's see if there's any damages to our files. Okay, so nothing there. Okay, documents are protected, no ransom infection there, that's good to see. Okay, cool, so there is no damage there. Let's see if, in, if we can actually spot anything under control panel. Okay, doesn't seem like anything have is visible on this end um, for MSISoft it's a bit different we have these three installers there's the remote manipulator and we have this Ukrainian or Russian lookalike certificate <laughs> that installed um, okay um, yeah I think that's the end so let's quickly look at the pros and the cons for these two um, cons obviously there is still something persistent on this um, FCK machine, as I've mentioned, PowerShell does randomly pop up while you're busy with the machine. Um, it displays and then it goes away. So I'm figuring it might be one of these. Might, uh, and, uh, and obviously, we did see that there were malware put into the task scheduler. So that's also adding to the persistence. Um, so, cons, I would say we do have quite a couple of startup items. We do have one active malware running in memory. Um, yeah, so we, we do have those malwares that are running. Um, we have quite a bit of startup items. Stuff is persistent. We have malware outside the normal locations, which will be our temp files and our malware on the desktop. Um, but pros, I would say, still, still good detection at the end of the day. We did do a lot of samples. Um, we have no ransomware infection, the machine does not feel slow or sluggish. Um, so I would say F-Secure still did, did, did well. Uh, we saw vendors in the last couple of videos did much worse. Um, so I would say F-Secure is one of the ones that, that kind of um, in the top range of that are doing the best. Obviously not the best, we have seen vendors do better, but we've seen do worse. So I would say still good results from F-Secure, not bad at all. Um, but unfortunately we do um, have IOCs on the machine and obviously this machine needs to be um, reloaded. For MSISoft, I must say I'm actually more impressed with MSISoft than from the last test. The last time I tested it, it was horrible bad. Um, this time at least we have no ransomware infection. So the cons is obviously we do have two active malwares running in um, the um, processes but um, we do have malware outside our normal locations but not as much um, cons, uh, sorry, um, pros I would say for MSI software is it definitely did better than the last time 
We have no ransomware infection, so it also protected us against um, all the latest um, ransomware um, like Magnabur and um, things like that. Um, signature wise, it did remove more malware than um, F Secure. We have 212 samples versus 108 samples left. Um, there's less malware um, scattered across the machine than with F Secure. Uh, but unfortunately, we do have um, malware still persistent, um, but definitely, definitely um, much better results than the last time. Between the two, it's hard for me to say. Some um, in some areas, F Secure did better, and some areas, M Soft did better. But I would say most probably overall, um, I would say that um, M Soft maybe did a couple of percentage small a very small percentage better than F secure um, you can actually still say it's a draw like I said the one did better than the other one in certain aspects um, but yeah you can you can draw your own conclusion let me know what you guys thought about the video but between these two I would lean a little bit more to M size soft um, due to less startup items um, no real registry key modifications except for that master boot record but obviously malwarebytes is the only one that picked it up um, so yeah it's a much of a muchness but let me know what you guys thought about this video I, I thought it was quite interesting to retest these products um, I will be doing the tests that you guys have requested for the other ones um, yeah and I'll start with those tests soon but uh, uh, until until next time I'll catch you guys again